we're going to work through is a sepsis workflow looking specifically at deteriorating patients and we're going to manage that workflow in order to get that patient treated more quickly and obviously get them into the right place where they need to be. So the scenario we're going to set here for you guys is the patient has come into A&E, suspected septic patient, we're going to move them through to the ward, they've been identified within A&E and we're going to start providing some care for them. Some bloods have already been taken and they've been sent off to pathology, all right, just so you guys can set the scene. So the patient's with the nurse at the bedside. Who is the staff nurse? If you just put your hand up for me. I think that's you. Yeah, no worries. So you're next to the patient. Your patient is not feeling very well. Their patient monitor is giving some unstable readings. You've taken some observations, all right? And from looking at your early warning score, which is that chart that you'll see on the screen there, there's an escalated early warning score. So we need to do something about this, all right? So. What you should soon receive is an alert. There we go. Okay, yep. So what does that say on your screen? Um, EWS needs estimating. Excellent. So we've identified this patient is deteriorating. We now need to follow the correct process for it. So what I want you to do is press that where it says contact charge nurse and senior sister. Okay. Okay. And you, there we go. We should now have two more alerts. So let's go to the charge nurse first. What does your message say? It says EWS escalated. Okay. Now, at the moment, you're currently dealing with a patient, okay? You've got your own patients to worry about. I'd like you to press reject for me, please. Okay. okay. Senior sister, can you read out what your message says, please? EWS escalated patient Excellent. So what I want you to do, you, you're free to deal with this. I want you to press accept on your handset. So we should have a new message now on your screen. Okay, so the nurse has called you over to the bedside. You've gone and checked the patient over and you've decided, yes, okay, this patient is deteriorating and we need to escalate that to the outreach team. So if you press yes for me on there. Excellent. So we now have three handsets going off. Put your hands up if you're going off, please. Fine. So what we now have is information has been sent to three people at the same time. Now this is for information purposes for two of you. So the doctor, if you just put your hand up for me, please. Excellent. So can you read what your handset says to me? Uh, potential sepsis, outreach alerted. Okay. So ultimately, you are responsible for this patient, which is why you've now been given this information. All right? At the moment, it is purely information. You will have to deal with that at a later date if we need to escalate it further. If you just press OK for me. Excellent. Bed manager. So what does your message now say? Potential sepsis. Okay, so we know that the best place to care for patients is within an HDU critical care environment, all right? So your job now is to, behind the scenes, you're going to go and find if there's some beds available in the HDU area. So we, if this patient does have confirmed sepsis, you're able to move that patient into that area, okay? So if you just press accept for me. And lastly, the outreach team. So obviously, you, if, what does your message say? It says potential sepsis, sepsis referral, ask on ward, please. Okay, so the outreach team now have the information they need to know where the patient is and what the actual incident is, okay? If you press accept for me. Yep. Okay, so we should have another beep. Put your hand up, senior sister. Yep. Okay, if you just want to open that alert for me, please. Yep. What does that say? A member of the outreach team on the line. Okay, so you from the bedside have sent a message out. And at the same place, you've managed to get confirmation that someone is coming to help you. Okay, so we're not having to leave the patient. We're doing all of it next to the bedside. Now, on the outreach screen, you should have a slightly different option at the bottom there. Okay, have you read it out to me? Okay, so it's asking you now, you've got your alert, so you know that the patient potentially has sepsis, but actually we need to find some more information about it. If you want to press that button for me, please. You want to answer that? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Come to your patient. Okay, come back in. What's wrong with it? Central sepsis. Excellent. Okay. So. We know that one of the most important forms of communication is still voice. So you receive an alert that there is a patient with potential sepsis. Now, while you're walking to that ward, wherever it might be, you can call up the nurse at the bedside and get additional information from that. All right. So. Yes, of course. So I do work on outreach. Yep. And at the moment, we get a page and we go to the central uh, office to yes. respond to that page. So we know who's going. 
right. Obviously, I can respond to this out on the move, which is great. Yeah. And I can go straight to the patient. But what stops two or three people saying that at the same time? So what we can build into is a certain layer in the message. So if we send out, uh, if there's three people in your outreach team, is that about right? Yeah. So we can send a message to all three people. Whoever responds first, the other two will get a message to say, oh, actually, someone's already attended, so you don't need to then go all to the same place or ring each other to check that someone else has picked it up. Okay? So just moving on. So the outreach team are now at the bed space. Okay? They're just doing their observations as they would when they get to the bed space. But we also need to check what those blood tests were that we sent off to the lab when we first arrived. Now we can do that one of two ways. We can have the pathology lab send it out to you if they get an alert to say that the lactate is, a, is X. Or actually what we can do is we can request the bloods from pathology. All right? So what we're just going to do is send an alert out. So we should, we will see the senior sister and outreach team. So, senior sister, if you want to just read your message to me, please. Uh, this is Eve Smith, lactate 5.5. Excellent. Again, information purposes for you, so we can confirm that this patient has now has sepsis. Mm -hmm. If you want to press accept for me. Yeah. And then outreach, you should have a similar message. Same message. Yeah. Excellent. So if you press accept for me, you will then actually see something slightly different after that. Okay, if you want to read out now what it says. It's asking me if I want to initiate a sepsis protocol. Okay, so we know that within sepsis we can treat the patient and we can help to reduce further complications, all right? So we're now going to initiate that sepsis pathway that we have within the hospital. If you want to press yes for me, please. Okay. It's now asking me if I want to call the doctor. Excellent, so similar to before, if you press call doctor. So as we've just demonstrated there, what we can do if the doctor needs to prescribe the antibiotics, you can get straight on the phone to them and say, we need the antibiotics to be prescribed. All right. So back, we've had the bed managers been behind the scenes trying to locate some beds for the patient. What we'll now find is whether or not they've actually succeeded in what they're doing, actually. So bed manager, if you just hold your phone up for me, please. OK, you should have a message on there. That's a patient, there are currently two beds available in ICU. Perfect. We have two beds available within the ICU. We now have somewhere where we can send that patient. So if you want to press accept for me, um, your message should change at the bottom. Forward to clinical team. Excellent. So if you want to forward that out to the clinical team for me. So again, three handsets should be going off. Yeah. Excellent. So outreach. If you want to read your, read your message out to me, please. Bed manager, there are currently two beds available in ICU. Excellent. So we now know that we can treat this patient in an appropriate area. All right. If you want to press accept for me. Yep. Uh, doctor. Yep. Same message should be. Yep. And the senior yep. sister as well. Excellent. So we've all got the same message. We all have the same information for which we can deal with. 